Hey you guys, it's David Jaffe, Game Director of Drawn to Death. I'm here with Andrea Daly and Nafisa Tung, two of the lead concept artists on the game Drawn to Death. And A, I just wanted to introduce you guys to some of the team, especially these guys who have really brought the look of Drawn to Death to life, and talk about sort of what it took to create that, uh, the look of the game and the process that you guys all went through. My first question for both you guys is, there are people out there who say that this is an ugly game. In some ways, it's, it's, it's a compliment because it's meant to be drawn by an untrained kid. That is sort of the point. Because like when I approach Drawn to Death, it's sort of like you want to make it feel like it's very raw and like done by someone who doesn't have like refined ideas. It's not supposed to be very like trained or refined, right? At first you're like, oh, I'm just supposed to draw horribly. Like, you know, supposed to draw like how I did in high school. I was like, That's, that sounds so easy. We sit down to do it and it's just been so ironed into you to do like good anatomy and all these things, like good composition, that you sit down and it's just like, I can't draw badly. It's supposed to have that kind of like, like locker room kind of like visceralness to it. It's weird because when I graduated uh, from college, I actually wanted to do um, children's media, like oh my god, like cute stuff Keep and like cute little life. bunny rabbits and unicorns. No, yeah. um, and so when I got this job, I was just kind of like, I can't believe I'm like actually like drawing a, a butthole right now. I've always liked dark humor, actually. Yeah. Um, I've always been very cynical. Um, I guess. Yeah, because you like you made the American Patriot rocket and you put Made in China on yes. the bottom, which I thought yes. was wonderful, yeah. Uh, so and that's how I got this job, I think. That probably was you designed the Patriot Act, and it was like, all right. So here we are, very close to launch of this game, which has been going on development for quite a while. Looking back at it, is there one aspect of the game of Drawn to Death that you are most proud of? Um, well, I mean, I'm always working on the characters, so I'm pretty proud of them. But I think the thing that really wows me is when I take a step away from my own work and I just kind of see the general look of the game. You know, I see people playing it, I'm like, actually, it really does look, like, very, like, earnest, you know? It looks very much like what we planned for it to look like, you know? It feels like a notebook come to life, you know? My mom, who's like a like, six-year-old like old Asian lady, she saw the game, she's like, oh, it's like a high school notebook. I'm like, oh! You know, like, and that was at PSX, that was like right. a year ago. Yeah. You know, and I think it's only gotten better since then. Damn, I think just seeing all these, like, dark jokes that came from my mind, like... Yeah. Which is your favorite dark joke? Oh, I mean, in the game? Yeah. That's a hard one. I think, I'll tell you my favorite, then you tell me your favorite. My favorite of yours is the billboard in Alien Town, which has the old man and woman, Granny's Pies. Oh, that's your favorite That's one. my favorite. I just love that you've decided to make her a cannibal who kills her <laughs> kills her, her longtime spouse and puts them in, his, in her pies and then sells them to people. I think that's just wonderful. But no, what is your favorite uh, dark joke? Okay, well, actually, I think my favorite one is, um, it's, it's on the, I don't know if it's on the cover anymore, but it's yeah. on one of the pages. Maybe someone will find it. But it's a banana flashing some strawberries. And so he's just like lifting up his banana skirt and he's like got his whole banana thing coming out and all the strawberries are like horrified and they're like covering their children's faces. <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite. I look at the game and it's exactly what I wanted to make and uh, it, it wouldn't be anywhere close to that without you guys and I think you know that. It feels like that sort of high school angst, like it, it's a yeah. metaphor for that. And so I thank you guys for creating that because it really brought that to life. PS4 for the players.